Hi, Assalamualaikum and very good day to all the judges UNICEL 2020. I'm Nurul Huda binti Ahmad Razali, PhD UNISA students and lecturer Unit 10 Muazzam Shah Pahang. Our entitled of innovation is Augmented Reality Teachers Are Right. For the abstract, teaching our subject required students, which is specifically on the fresh men law students and non-law students, to understand the court system, court hierarchy and courtroom structure. So in the past, lecturers have organized educational visit to the court complex. Nonetheless, for the impact of COVID-19, had urged all the institutions to conduct online class. So we had come up with an idea to introduce this innovation which is called Augmented Reality Teachers Are Red that enables students to visualize courtroom structure without attending to the courtroom. So the objective of this innovation is first to expose students in observing and experiencing a real scenario in the courtroom. Second, to facilitate students in understanding courtroom hierarchy and hearing process. And third is to nurture positive learning experience in law subject where they can enjoy learning law subject. It's not just a theory subject, most not just a very essay subject. So the benefit and advantages of these innovations first is can save traveling time and reduce monetary costs and of course for the environmental friendliness because of non-use of paper. So for the innovativeness, so this technology is very new for the law subject because we are using augmented reality and new method of teaching law subject by visual learning. So for the principle, underlying principles of teaching principles, so this innovation will apply several teaching learning principles. First, we will be apply active learning where students will communicate with their team members to discuss on the instructions given by the lecturer, especially on the courtroom structure. Second, they will implement the self-learning where students will learn by their own to visualize courtroom structure because they need to scan the QR code and after they scan the QR code, so they will see the courtroom structure in the AR version. And the third one is collaborative learning where students will engage with their team members to, vi to visualize the current structure and they can contribute the other, the idea and discussion among themselves. So we're going to take a look how these innovations will be implemented and how is it the process. So this is the process. First, lecturer will introduce the hierarchy, explain the hierarchy of court by the, uh, by to, to the students and explain a little bit the idea of the topics. And then lecturer instruct the students in a group, in a team, and then they need to allocate, they need to draw the allocation of the parties in the courtroom. And then the students need to present their finding and draw the findings and then lecturer will give the instruction how they can use our right. First step, student need to download the assembler and then they need to scan the QR code. So after they scan the QR code, they will see the augmented reality which is our right. So they can compare their findings and then based on the outright. So this is an example of the hub, hub, what had been done by my students. So I'm using Microsoft Teams. So, so they had draw the courtroom position and then after they scan the QR code, so they will see the difference, differentiate between what they have been, the, have been done by them and also what had been in the augmented reality. For the impact on teaching and learning, our will greatly facilitate students at higher education institutions who are required to enroll law subjects such as Malaysian legal system, business law, commercial law, industrial relations, and many others. And our will be available an alternative to educational visits to court complex because we are still in the pandemic COVID-19, so we need to conduct an online class, uh, online class. 
and alhamdulillah we had a uh, secured silver medal during ITEC 2020 and we had submit the applications for copyright so please enjoy the video to all the judges bye thank you